Hi, hello, this is Charlie Jose and you're watching Afstream Charlie. Uh, this is a quickie, uh, more or less a uh, warning, uh, caution news to uh, crypto enthusiasts, crypto investors, and uh, investors in general. Okay, so uh, first things first, uh, just want to say hi to uh, my subscribers and viewers and uh, don't uh, forget to uh, like and subscribe and push that not notification bell and uh, give us a thumbs up it helps the YouTube algorithm uh, push us to people like you who like crypto who like crypto <laughs> okay and uh, let's start with uh, uh, bad news yes uh, we're gonna start with some bad news as you can see Bitcoin is like uh, going down and there's a reason for it. I I'll explain to the I'll explain this later. Uh, if you're hearing some uh, background noise, uh, it's currently raining outside, but I'll still continue on recording this because I need to uh, release this today. So first things first, uh, of course, the reason why uh, Bitcoin is down because of the inflation so inflation is uh, relatively uh, negative of course gives us negative impact and uh, here's why so this one is from uh, axios.com uh, so the title is uh, this time inflation might have re have really peaked according to axios uh, june's consumer price index is set to be released uh, this wednesday uh, today is wednesday in uh, southeast asia but uh, later on it's gonna be wednesday uh, in uh, the united states okay so we're yet to brace ourselves <laughs> for the hot numbers so but signs are emerging that inflation may soon peak if it hasn't already in the spring the economy did a head fake and inflation kept heading higher when we thought it was about to go lower why it matters inflation has been pummeling the economy wiping out wage gains and draining the wallets of consumers which had grown fatter since the pandemic's worst days okay just uh, for those who are new to uh, investing and new to crypto and uh, please be informed that uh, a worldwide economy uh, always affects uh, the prices of uh, the stock exchange and uh, it affects also the crypto exchange okay so the prices i mean so right now uh, inflation is really bad and uh, when we say inflation inflation in the united states so if uh, the economy of the united states goes bad everything follows so why it matters inflation has been pummeling the economy wiping out wage gains and draining the wallets of consumers consumers which had grown fatter since the pandemic's worst days may 8.6 percent year over year increase was the highest monthly jump since this de since december 1981 a couple of uh, weeks ago we were like talking about is this inflation like the 19 uh, late 70s mid mid 70s to late uh, to early 80s so it seems like it based on uh, data historical data of uh, of inflation so state of play uh, bloomberg and market watch are predicting that inflation rose to 8.8 .8 in June we have a several we have uh, several reasons to hope that June or maybe even May may have been the last increase in CPI so there's a declining uh, energy prices well this is in the United States and then flurry of discounts on the retail side prices fell in e-commerce that's related to uh, online retail so that would be like uh, Amazon and uh, and now Target and uh, other online uh, shops okay so and then domestic airfare appears to have declined so this also is uh, measured uh, in the cpi and used vehicle prices fell 1.3 percent which is not that uh, low but uh, uh since the inf since inflation since april uh second hand cars in the united states have been expensive <laughs> and uh that's why uh, people are uh, in the united states are are sad because uh uh, they can't buy uh, even a used car <laughs> for a used price okay a second hand price yes but have you seen your credit card so it is roughly 
out there and it's not likely to go away quickly even as concerns about slowing economy okay so well you know americans use a lot of credit cards since like what the 80s when credit card was was uh became a necessity and that having a credit rating is very important in the united states and they they uh, kind of allow that uh, you know the more you uh, spend the better for the retail and uh, gdp and cpi but at the end of the day if people cannot pay what they owe their debt credit card debt then that will reflect again back to the economy giving negative uh, growth so be smart gas prices have an outsized impact on inflation so any downward momentum may boost consumer spending or at least their frame of mind so producer producer price index which measures wholesale costs indicates indicated that 40 percent of its may increase was attributable to gasoline okay uh, this we all know especially for those who own cars motorcycles we have felt the pinch uh, in the philippines it's like from 50 to uh, 80 30 peso increase and that's bad bad especially if you are uh, if you're not earning that much okay and you own a car at the same time right so uh, the peso value is decreasing because american uh, american money uh, the american dollar is appreciating so we are depreciating right now the peso is like uh, the between 56 and 58 and uh, that's very high it's like uh, we were i was only talking about the exchange uh, last March and April and, and it was like hovering between uh, 51 and uh, 53 okay so that's high if you're earning dollars if you're an uh, OFW overseas Filipino worker then uh, your dollar here is uh, greatly appreciated <laughs> because of the exchange rate however the prices also increase so it doesn't matter right not unless you save it okay so bottom line while june cpi could could the uh, rate could be higher than may's the end hopefully draws nigh so everybody's hoping that uh, the, the 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 inflation is uh, going down by uh, by uh, by may may's end okay that uh, data will be shown soon okay so in the white house white house warns cpi inflation number will be elevated driving the news okay white house officials are preparing the country for a hot uh, inflation rate ahead of the release of wednesday's consumer price index but they insist that some key inflation components includes gas prices are coming down so it helps uh, here also we're feeling that, that the uh, prices are coming down but very slow here in the philippines because the gas companies here are basically taking advantage of the situation okay always <laughs> you know uh, driving the news independent economists estimate that annual headline inflation will increase to 8.8 percent for june up from 8.6 in may when the bureau of labor statistics releases its cpi report on wednesday 8 30 a.m so that would be 8 30 p.m uh tonight here in manila singapore kuala lumpur malaysia taiwan hong kong shanghai so later we will uh, watch it and see what will happen so while biden officials have carefully not to predict that june's cpi print would be the would be high watermark for inflation they noted that average gas prices have been declining since mid-june energy prices have fallen significantly from the prices included in the june cpi report blah 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 from the national economic council okay. june cpi data will largely not reflect the substantial declines in gas prices we've seen since the middle of june okay so other other news like same thing consumer inflation expected to have been even hotter in june but it could be peaking so this one is from the cnbc website uh, consumer prices continue to shoot higher in june while the headline consumer price index expect to reach 8.8 .8 year over year according to dow jones but economists say that considering the fall off in gasoline price june's headline cpi could be the peak of inflation for now hmm 
it means that it's going to be like a short short uh, respite uh, respite from uh, inflation rate so but that's not over until several factors that are affecting the economy worldwide and also of america uh, and that we still need to see for the whole year okay core inflation including gas and food is expected to go from six percent in may to five per five per five point seven percent the third month in a row of 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 slowing okay so it means that uh, prices are going down in the u.s for their gasoline and food and uh, most likely other countries will follow okay same here uh, U.S. news inflation source in May with consumer prices up 8.6 so with that uh, news about inflation uh, as you can see uh, Nasdaq uh, sorry that's the Asian market uh -huh. so Dow Jones yesterday S&P Nasdaq are all down okay all red all red all red all red okay except for some uh, some uh, stocks that are doing well apple microsoft uh, except microsoft verizon intel boeing are all uh, positive so even walgreens is in the top gainers Okay, but they're also top losers as well. Salesforce, Microsoft, Traveler, Chevron, J and J, Johnson and Johnson, all in the negative territory. Okay, so dollar index. Dollar index is in the positive, so dollar is appreciating. Okay, if we check on commodities, uh, crude oil is going down. Brent oil is going down. Gold, however, is positive, uh, but still down because last time it was like 1,800 per ounce, and now it's 1,700, but it, it's going up again. Copper is also positive. Okay, so let's go back to uh, crypto because we are in crypto so in general btc is uh, below uh, 19500 uh, it is uh, now at uh, 1053 and bnb is now 223 yesterday it was like uh, 200 and uh, what uh, 30 and this one was just below uh, 1,100, 1,098, some, somewhere in that range. Okay, so let's check uh, uh, BTC again. So currently it's hovering around 19,400. Earlier, a couple of uh, minutes ago, like uh, 20 minutes ago, it was hovering around 19,300 $19, dollars per coin. Okay. So this one, by the way, uh, again, uh, this is the Bollinger Band, RSI, and MACD. If you check on this one, it has crossed again. Uh, this is on the weekly weekly chart. So if it's below there and below there, and uh, more or less it was below there at the time. So two out of three means that uh, uh, Bitcoin is a good buy. And not goodbye, goodbye, but uh, it's a buy. However, with the the upcoming CPI, just wait for the CPI, or you could DCA down. Okay, so best time to buy now, and also best time to buy uh, ETH. So it's your chance now to buy one ETH if you can, or half an ETH, ETH <laughs> Ethereum, half an Ethereum. Okay. So let's uh, drill down further. Uh, as you can see, let's remove the Bollinger Bands. As you can see, 
uh, uh, based on that uh, report uh, early on in like uh, March already after uh, Q1 every uh, some smart people are like uh, already hinting that there's gonna be a, a Q1 inflation and they were right so rightfully so they were like selling off uh, their Bitcoin and most likely the others as well ethereum and the bnb and the rest of the altcoins and this is the uh the sell in may and go away <laughs> motto so this is like uh, april 30 april 29 uh, people are are uh, fastly selling their uh, bitcoin their uh, coins okay and then if they were right boom because the inflation uh, report uh, came in for the whole q1 and uh, q1 was inflationary okay so this one and then we uh, had a sideways action between uh, what 31,000 uh, 32,000 and uh, sideways action of 28,000 to 38 to, to uh, 30, 31,000. So sideways, sideways. And then the CPI data report, 10th of June, was reported. And again, inflation is, uh, is there and uh, it went down here okay that was like in uh, started going down june from june 10 june 11 actually prior to uh, the cpi report like uh, june 7 already people were already skept, uh, ha had their uh, negative thoughts already and uh, it's time to bail out you know because most of the analysts is saying uh, cash is king so take out your money while you can okay because some of them already took their money here <laughs> because they already have an inkling of inflation and more more doom and gloom coming ahead so if this one after the cpi report again today uh, we might have another capitulation and we may drop to to what we may drop to we may drop to a certain level again like yeah here so around uh, 11 11000 dollars wow between 11 and uh, 13 if this if, if this one repeats again okay so i don't know about you i don't know your uh, resistance level when it comes to fear and greed <laughs> so most of you will probably uh, uh dca uh you should have uh, sold here and then buy the dip again and or dca down so you could at least had profit here so now is the time to like uh, uh, you know uh, this is the time to like uh, DCA down and uh, think about your strategy not only in Bitcoin and also your altcoin and also your DeFi in the crypto space uh, there's only like a few who can resist the the, the, the turmoil of the economy one good one I've seen so far is Horde. So congratulations to Horde. You, your, uh, your, your algorithm or your, uh, your blockchain uh, programming is working and uh, the Horde is steady between $98 and $103 or something. But as long as it's in the $100 range, so uh, their customers are safe there now 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 the, the other one that I'll, that's uh, just the peg was uh, grape 
crypto finance but uh, the 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 devs there and the community is doing something about it to make the peg go back to a dollar or at least near near one dollar okay so what else so for the 200 week moving average for bitcoin it's like down so so like i said uh, when it, uh, when it comes to uh, studying if if it's time to buy if they say it's below macd and then below rsi then plus the fact that it's below uh, the 200 moving average uh, well that's good news actually so if you check check here uh, let's try to zoom in uh, if you can see every time uh, it crosses down the the 200 week week uh, moving average wma uh, they always go up okay so that's why everybody's like analyst saying is recommended that you buy now because uh, anytime soon uh, bitcoin can go up okay but uh, however this is the first time that everybody's experiencing this experiencing this kind of uh, price action uh, this inflation and it's like uh, uh, a triple play <laughs> a triple threat you know and you can't you can't like uh, don't know yet if uh, we're going to uh, uh, survive so basically this is a crypto winter for all of us okay but uh, just dca down buy what you can if you want to buy or just hold and wait until some positive news comes comes uh, comes in okay so there you could weigh whether you're gonna invest hard or you're gonna just dca okay so what else so fear and greed index uh so here's the fear in the greed index today is 15 yesterday was 16 last week was 18 and a month ago was 11. so so there it's still big on fear and then if you check the crypto bubbles everything is in red everything is in red okay you could also check out oh yeah so there uh this is from uh coin market cap you just click on the 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 today's uh, crypto heat map and again btc is hovering on the 19 below 19,500 it is down bnb is down and the rest of the altcoin is down except for a few stragglers who are in the green but the majority is in the red thanks to the looming economy okay so there you go so that's the economic report for today affecting uh, bitcoin and the rest of the crypto industry crypto market and uh let's wait for another update uh we'll i'll give you an update tomorrow or later after the cpi news in the united states so this is charlie jose thank you very much for watching see you on my next video oh by the way i'll be doing some uh DeFi updates uh, about my investments and I'm gonna tell you where to invest or not to invest or just hold okay so basically that's it so again thank you very much don't forget to like and subscribe hit that notification bell and give us a thumbs up bye bye arrivederci aloha